Today we are going to review how to add items to your menu. The first thing you want to do is log into your portal, go to accounting, items and categories. This allows you to see all of your existing items that are created. You could filter by your items, modifiers, promotion codes, options or service charges. Simply select and hit apply. It will show you everything that you have already created. All category section shows you all of your categories. You could edit a category or add a new category here. If you want to add a new item, simply go to new item, select from the drop down. If it's an item, you would select an item. If it's a modifier, option, service charge, etc., select the proper fields. Here we will do an item. We want to go ahead and upload a picture. Let's say we're adding this cake. We will hit save, give it a name. If there is any modifiers that you want to add to it, you would just simply select it. These are now the available modifiers. If I go ahead and check a modifier, it will automatically be become a default modifier. Meaning when you add the item, this is already selected as it comes with it. Options are great for your sizes, in this case like a large size or a small size so this would be small large medium etc and these would be tomatoes lettuce etc on your hamburger we will give it a cost you would choose your expense category if you are charging for the item let's say this is a 599 item you would define the cost assign it to your income category if this item is to be printed in a kitchen, you will simply select where it would print. So if you wanted it to be printed on a hot printer and also at the bar printer, you would select it. We're going to turn on the tax to tax the items. Because this is also linked to smart menus, you can go ahead and tag the item as many as you need. If there's a prep time, you can go ahead and add it on there. And if there's a calorie count, you can go ahead and add that as well. If this is a weigh option, you could just simply enable the weight item. If you are deducting some weight because it's in a container, you could add this, uh, the weight of the container. So it will be deducted from the actual weight. So if the container weighs in one, these are in ounces. So if it weighs one ounce and the item is at three ounces, it will deduct one ounce from the price. We will go ahead and hit save and new to create a new item. If that was the only item you needed to create, you would just simply hit save and close. You can now see that the cake is created. Now we want to add that to our item. We'll go to utilities, go to menu builder. And notice that here we have a corporate menu and we have the location menus. If we add it to the corporate menu, it will be added to all of these locations. If we want to add it for a specific location, select your location. In this case, we'll go to 1698. This will be the specific layout that you will see on your tablet for your smart POS system. You could add a new category for that. For example, we'll add it under beer. And then we can go ahead and select the item and select the cake and go ahead and get that added. And now that cake is added. We can go ahead and hit update. And now that item has been added to your menu. So if you go ahead and go to your smart pause, you will see that the menu has been updated. So now we are logged into our smart pause and you can see the beer category has been added and there's the chocolate cake. If you want to change your menu, you could go to utilities, locations and market. And here by clicking on your location, you could see everything about your location and if you go to map menu here is where you could define your menu so you could change your menu for breakfast lunch dinner and there will be a happy hour menu that you'll be able to select as well very soon and if you wanted to do the same menu for every day you would just simply select it as breakfast if you wanted to set up a different menu even on a daily basis you could do that easily here this is a quick summary on how to set up an item, add it to your menu, and manage and map your menu to your location. 
We hope that you found the video to be useful.